This week's episode is sponsored by Helio Gas Detection. everyone, this is Letty for the Metal Cell Podcast. I'm joined by Unmaker. How are you all doing? Hello. Hello. How's it going? All good. Uh, welcome to the podcast. To our listeners who maybe haven't heard of you guys before, do you want to introduce yourselves and your role in the band? Sure, yeah. I'm Aaron. I'm bass and vocals. I'm Sean. I'm uh, guitar and backing vocals. And I'm Jake, and I play drums. Excellent. Uh, so how would you describe your sound? Kind of modern, modern metal, but with trash influences, I would say. Yeah, like uh, yeah, I say like uh, yeah, like big inspirations for us would be kind of like uh, Silosis, like uh, Pantera, like uh, guys like that. Like it's like kind of thrash, death, bit of groove, modern, I suppose. It's it's hard to kind of categorize because like, yeah, but, uh, just m- music, I suppose. Yeah, like, rock you know, and roll, rock and roll, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you going to Pantera in February? Damn straight, yeah. <laughs> one of my one of my favorite bands of all time. Like Dimebag's my hero. Like, uh, yeah, he's he's a guy that really like when I first saw him like do the '91 gig when they're supporting like uh, Metallica, like just blew my mind when I was like 13, and I was just like, yep, I want to be this man. Basically, camo shorts for ages, just and all that stuff. Were you able to get your hands on one of the signature models? No, 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 I didn't. But like, uh, was it? I actually have an ML. I have an ML, but uh, was it? I mainly just like kind of play a Les Paul, like uh, stuff like that. Like it's cool though. I'm like I love MLs. Metal on the Les Paul. <laughs> yeah, can't go wrong with Les Paul. So their workhorses can't go wrong. Versatile. Yeah. Exactly. So you were playing the academy tonight, opening for Cavalera Conspiracy, Max and Igor. How you feeling? Stoked. Absolutely stoked! Yeah, I uh, it's a dream come true. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, like yeah. can't believe it. Like uh, I remember, like uh, Aaron gave us a call and told us about it, and like uh, I was just like, no way. Like I mean, Sean had to cancel his holiday. Yeah, I was initially supposed to be in like Barcelona, and uh, because we're actually doing a walking thing the following day, like uh, what was it? I, I could. I was supposed to fly back tonight to do the gig tomorrow. But then one day Aaron gives me the call, just says like, uh, oh yeah, we've been, just been offered like Cavalera. And then I was just like, oh yeah, to know what pack it in. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, because, yeah, I just wanted to be as super prepared as we possibly can. And like, just give the best like performance we can. And yeah. just try level the place really. That's what yeah. we're going to try to do anyway. Yeah. Perfect opportunity, like. Sorry? A perfect opportunity. Oh yeah. Like, I, yeah. I definitely think it's a... Uh, step in the right direction anyway like uh, it could be a stepping stone to get like people who haven't like heard of us to like uh, give us a like follow give us like a stream or something like and plus like we're working pretty hard on the second album that'll be coming out like uh, sometime like at near the end of the year or yeah, sometime in the next 12 months anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like we have like loads of material that we're that's ready to rock we just need to go around recording it yeah. like what was your favorite kind of Sepultura, Calvera Conspiracy, Killer Be Killed song B? I suppose like uh, I'm, I'm a huge like Sepultura fan and uh, like just a uh, Chaos Arise. AD, Arise, Arise yeah. like uh, what was it, Roots, stuff like that, like uh, just uh, gets me moving, mate, good I stuff. Li- this is their latest album actually, it's really good, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's incredible, yeah. Do you have a favourite Sepultura, Calvera Conspiracy, uh, Killer Be Killed song? To, to, to be honest, I can't say that I do. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. Jury's out on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys released Status Zero. Uh, it says that new music is coming in the next 12 months. How is the recording process for the two singles that you did release? Oh, yeah. Um, so we tried a different approach this time. Um, so we we went to uh, 
Josh Sid Robinson, who's in Belfast. He's the producer at J- JSR Audio, and we we recorded the two songs there, "The Killing Fields" and "State of Zero." And uh, we decided um, we found like we're massive Silosis fans. Um, so like Silosis is my favorite band, and I found out a while back there that Josh Middleton, who basically is the founder of Silosis. Um, does mixes so I was like oh okay you know what screw it let's give it a shot and let him do one of them and uh, tried State of Zero so he he mixed that and uh, he did a just phenomenal job <laughs> I mean it was it's our favourite song kind of you know so uh, but I have to say though JSOR in Belfast done a phenomenal job as well I mean I would say the boat mixes are as good as each other to be honest Um like in their own way so yeah um, uh, we're basically going to be going to him for the album to JSR and uh, we have it all kind of organised and um, we're only going to do drums there because we can record all the guitars at home and he's going to produce the whole album so yeah, looking forward to it nice one is uh, Stat Zero on the set list tonight oh you betcha yes. <laughs> damn straight <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we're going to end it on a, on a high note, yeah, without a doubt, so it's going to be fun. Yeah. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can all give an answer each. If you could collaborate with any musician, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, me, it would be Josh Middleton from Silos, <laughs> without a doubt. So. Dream come true. I, I already know his answer anyway. Uh, Dimebag Daryl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, Jake? Possibly uh, John Petrucci from Dream Theatre. <laughs> Fuck yeah. awesome. That would be some combo, Dimebag and John, like. Yeah, yeah. That would be, be a serious be super group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Just Dimebag shredding and then uh, John with all of his different time signatures, oh, like that. Yeah. yeah, like that would just be mind blowing. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's the band. Why not? We get Steve Boy as well if the he's band, around, you know? Like. It's not the band we need, but it's the band we deserve. Yeah. <laughs> Who would the drummer for that band be? Yeah. 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 Who would the drummer for that band even be? Oh, well, Joey Jordison is eight, probably. Yeah. 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 Or Alex Rudiger, your man who filled in for White Chapel for. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. He's insane. Yeah, yeah. He's or, great. Uh, what's the name of the guy of uh, Lamb of God? Chris Adler. Chris Adler, that's it. I forgot he was in Lamb of God. Well, was yeah, yeah. I, he was in Megadeth for a while as well. Is like, he, uh, he, yeah. Uh, he briefly he recorded it. I think it was oh, the right. Yeah. And yeah. I actually 2016 I saw them like uh, and uh, what was it? Yeah, they just killed the place. Awesome. Those are some serious considerations for drummers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a high standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe too high. <laughs> I'm sure Jake's caught in it. Like. Yeah. yeah. Jake's got it, man. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any favourite album releases of 2024 so far and again you can all give an album each uh, I think for me it's definitely um, Silosis' new album surprise surprise Sign of Things to Come it's just phenomenal uh, absolutely incredible just the musicianship uh, the mix everything is just 10 out of 10 yeah, I'm actually the same, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, everything's just pristine on that album. Like, when they came out with like Deadwood, like it just blew my head off, you know. Like, uh, it was just like that's top quality, just stuff, you know. Like, uh, but just yeah, because just Josh's songwriting, like everyone, like everyone's super tight on it, and like I loved a bit of me- they have a good balance between like melody and like shred and kind of aggression which I think is literally it's a perfect kind of Beautiful, mixture yeah, of that really like good. which I really enjoy like with bands like uh, and just mainly aggression and me- melody is the main thing you know aggression and melody those two ingredients you need for a perfect album damn right, oh, damn straight, yeah, like, <laughs> damn right. It, it's key ingredients I think and obviously a, sh- a shreddy as fuck guitar solo Sorry, reload curse. I know. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. Bollocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the swear words in you want. <laughs> Jake, do you have a favorite album in 2024? Uh, I'm gonna give a very uncool answer and say the new Bring Me the Horizon album. I really, really like that album. Very diverse. I rate that. I rate that. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite song off of it? Oh, it's hard to say. Um, probably the first track actually. I thought it was very good. 
I liked, uh, what's it, Top 10 Statues That Cry Oh, that one was great, yeah, I love that one too. The music video for that one is great as well. I haven't seen the video yet, but... Was you there in January when they came over? Yes, I did, that was a great show. I really enjoyed that. They were excellent. Awesome. And we're on to our last question. Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to start a band in 2024? Don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give the uh, positive answer. Jake has provided the truth, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna be the diplomat. <laughs> yeah. No, but in all seriousness, like I mean, just just do it, man, and and. Don't do it for any other reason than you you enjoy doing it and you love it and you know um, yeah just do it with your friends you know camaraderie make memories you know just make memories you know that's that's really the advice that I could give really yeah that's it. Anything else to add, boys? Well, I suppose like uh, was it? Yeah, just work your ass off and like uh, try get as much gigs as possible like and. Uh, yeah, the more gigs you get under your belt, the tighter it gets, and uh, just as you, as well as what Iron said as well, like just when you have like great mates in the band, it makes it a lot nicer because it's it doesn't it just feels because it, we love like playing and uh, doing all that stuff, but we also have it's called crack there as well. Like even like when we rehearse nearly every week, and like there's times like we go through the set and we go out for around 10, 15 minutes, have a chat, have a laugh, you know, and that's really important because. The thing is, it's getting that balance of gelling well with like musicians, and there's a good like uh, vibe, like as in like uh, friendly wise, because you can get someone else and like either the gel mightn't be there, but they're a nice guy, or it could be like they're not really that great, or as a like the personalities clash, or they could be a better. Mu- Musician, like it's really hard to find that perfect balance of like go to what you do and just cool to hang around. Yeah. Jake, are you changing your answer from don't? <laughs> uh, sorry, I mean, don't yes. do it. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't. Uh, that, that was the short answer. <laughs> no, uh, do, but uh, just I mean the guys gave good answers anyway. Yeah. Mm. Fair just, enough. Yep. Yeah, I just yeah, just make memories, you know, because in uh, in. In 25 years time you'd give your right arm and leg to be the age that you are now and all of the money that you have you'd probably give it so enjoy it that's what I'd say yeah enjoy every second of it headbang as much as you want like absolutely yeah G- give the yourself next comes along give yourself, <laughs> give yourself whiplash you know if you haven't gotten whiplash once or twice you're really not doing it right you know so exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> guys thank you so much for sitting down and talking with me thanks uh, thanks for having us thanks for having us yeah. no worries and Pleasure. status zero is out now it is yeah, yeah.